everyone. We're going to begin the webinar on an overview of Verifax. I'm Melissa Jules with RDA Impact, and we have Gregory Gray, VP of Sales and Operation, Operations for Verifax, is our presenter today. The webinar will take approximately 30 minutes, and we are recording it, and we'll post it on our YouTube channel. If you have questions during the webinar, you can type them in the chat box at the bottom right of your screen, and Gregory will answer those throughout the presentation. Now I'm going to turn it over to Gregory. Thank you, Melissa. Uh, good afternoon or good morning, depending where you're at this morning and this afternoon. Uh, I happen to be uh, talking to you from the uh, West Coast. I normally reside in the Nashville, Tennessee area. Um, so um, I welcome everybody here. I appreciate you attend your attendance. And, and like she said, if you have any questions, just let us know. We'll answer them appropriately. Um, this is intended to be a, a, a succinct 30-minute overview of Verifax. I may not touch every point, but hopefully we touch enough to where you understand what Verifax is about and uh, where we fit into this industry and how we can uh, partner with you in some way. I'm having a hard time advancing my slides here. Let me try something else. Okay. So Verifax, let me give you a quick overview of Verifax and the company itself. We are really focused on building a quality culture and it based around training and technology. We're a training and technology company. Uh, we, we don't train in the essence of ICAR. We train basically uh, in person with through coaching. Um, so for all those who are familiar with ICAR, I'll tell you how we uh, dovetail with, with that company. We, we, we have great respect for ICAR and the, the training that they do. Um, and we, we believe and know that we fit in and dovetail in where they leave off. Um, so everybody knows that power, you know, knowledge is power. And, and while that's true, uh, greater power comes from applied knowledge. So you get the knowledge through companies like ICAR and training like ICAR. And where we uh, fit into that equation is we help to apply that knowledge. We, we, we'll talk about it here in a few minutes, but we, we do uh, coaching uh, in the collision repair industry, and we really focus on quality management uh, within the shops. Um, we, we focus on it from two aspects. We have what's called the input focus. Inputs are anything like man, uh, training, machinery, equipment, those type of things. And then outputs, we look at the outputs of quality in your shop and what your technicians uh, may be creating on a day-to-day -day basis. And the output piece is really the results that we're all looking for. All, we're all looking for the consumer's vehicles to be repaired correctly 100% of the time. Uh, so through uh, oversight, analysis, coaching, and so forth, we, we do focus on this aspect of the industry. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in detail a little bit more. So Verifax has been around since 2002. Our CEO is Farzam Afshar. You may have heard his name in the industry. He's very well known. Uh, he created this company along with a, another co-founder, uh, Mark Olson, back in 2002. It is a, a private company, an, an LLC out of uh, headquartered out of Newport Beach, California. And throughout the last 14 years, um, it's, it's progressed from a, a coaching and, and you know, sort of hands-on coaching company into a, what we would consider a, a, the core business of coaching as well as technology. We, we, we have some technology platforms. We also create software. We have a development team, and we go into that aspect of the business as well. And we'll talk about that as we progress today as well. But, but at, Verifax is evolving right now to, to uh, kind of keep pace with the industry or stay, stay a few steps ahead of the industry where it's going. And as we all know, the industry is changing dramatically. And it has in the last four or five years, and it will continue to do so in the next two to three years uh, extremely rapidly. So we, we stay at the forefront of those uh, conversations, and we are creating technology as we speak to uh, continue to advance this industry. So let me get into the, what Verifax is really about to kind of give you an idea of what um, our history is from an experiential standpoint. So these, these numbers change daily. And so um, by the time we, we get done this week, these numbers will have advanced even more. But we've done over 3.2 million coaching observations in our history. And as we add, continue to add shops and add coaches, and as we grow, and we're in a growth mode right now, those numbers will, will exponentially increase. Uh, we've touched over 100,000 vehicles that have been inspected, and that is part of our coaching, monthly coaching visits. We do look at vehicles, not just talk to technicians and coach technicians, but we actually look at actual vehicles. 
and we've coached over 14,000 technicians, and, and that number is increasing rapidly. So we talked about inputs and outputs a, a minute ago, and I want to go through that a little bit more detail. So the inputs, we have what's called an IDQ software uh, that our coaches use when they come into your shop, and they look at over 400 line items, uh, potential inputs into the processes. And so they'll go through and grade, measure, and tabulate scoring based on those, those input items. They're looking at parts and materials, equipment, the methods, your SOPs that you're using in your shop, and any sort of credentials that your technicians may have. Um, we know those, those inputs are critical to setting the baseline to be able to have the capability to repair vehicles correctly. But then we also look at the outputs, and we, you'll notice the output piece is technically one-fifth of what we look at, but it's, in actuality, it's, it's almost one-third of what we look at from a line item standpoint because the quality output is critical in our industry and it's it's growing even more so. And the, the whole premise here is, is to look at the outputs and quality and then help your shop build a culture around quality. Um, the culture of quality is what's critical. Once you establish that culture and and you bring in new technicians or you're, you're creating a new culture around your, your existing technicians, then you'll, you'll get uh, an obvious change in behaviors, and, and cultures is a set of behaviors at the end of the day. And so whether you're trying to uh, create profitability in your own business, or whether you're trying to meet objectives of the insurance carriers, or you're trying to do something to uh, be on an OE certified program, that culture is important. And so that's what we, what we really help you with. So you may have heard the term VQ in the marketplace. That's sort of a brand name that, that uh, uh, Verifax uses for verified quality, and that is a status that you can attain. So let's just say you started into uh, a Verifax coaching program tomorrow. We, we call the first phase coaching and gap. In other words, we're looking at the gaps within the shop to meet the criteria to become a VQ status. And, we, and that usually takes anywhere from six to nine months. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes it can go quicker. But in that six to nine month time frame, is a pretty good opportunity for a shop to close those gaps and become what we call verified quality. Uh, and so it, we, we're basically uh, assuring you and, and your consumers at the end of the day that you've reached, uh, reached the VQ status. And so we're a third party unbiased company that can attain, uh, help you attain VQ status and we can actually certify the fact that you are VQ status. And that's a, that's a nice task to have in the marketplace. So let's talk about kind of the, the, the pieces of the puzzle here, if you will. We'll start at 12 o'clock at the top where it says dedicated quality experts. That's who we are. That's who our coaches are. We have coaches that have been in the business for 30 plus years, and our average tenure is well over 20 years for our coaches. Some of them have been you know, former ICAR instructors. Some are still ICAR instructors to this day, uh, former adjusters, former shop owners, uh, and the like. And so we have... A, a deep well to come to, to draw from in our coaching ranks. And we have coaches across this country and, and in Canada. And uh, we're in all 50 states uh, with the, the absence of Alaska at the moment. But we're, we have an opportunity to get back into Alaska here shortly. But So we have qualified air experts. And then we, we work on quality collaboration. So as we move clockwise around this, this uh, we'll talk about each of these pieces for a minute. It's very important that you uh, calibrate your shop and your technicians and, and your uh, estimators to the idea of a, of, of a quality culture. And we help do that. We help calibrate to the OEM specifications and to the requirements needed into the industry today. Um, then we also do perpetual oversight and verification. What that means is we come in monthly, we come in unannounced, and we don't, we don't set a schedule so your technicians know when we're coming at the same time every month. And that's important because we want them to be um, very honest in their in their behaviors. We want to catch their behaviors at any moment in time monthly, and be able to give you a uh, a true uh, snapshot, if you will, of your business at any moment in time, and make sure that they're following the right processes. So we we do a perpetual oversight, and we do verify that they're doing vehicles correctly, that they're doing their processes correctly, um, and then if they're not or if we find things that they should do better or different, uh, that's where coaching and education comes into play. And our coaches 
uh, do true coaching. They're not auditors. They don't come in and just say where well, you're wrong and then leave. They actually coach the technicians and, and, and walk them through what they can do differently right there on the spot while they find things. Uh, and sometimes they find things after the fact. That's fine. They can still coach them on that aspect, and they can uh, bring the shop manager, shop owner up to speed too, and say, "Hey, here's something we're seeing systemically across your shop. You may need to address." Um, and then we can give some education around that. Uh, we we have what's called a, uh, a QMPC. It's a quality measurement score, if you will, that we evaluate, evaluate you on monthly. And monthly we do give a report. And so we do have process performance measurements and and there's process improvements to go along with that. So there's a report that comes out along with the coaching to help you understand where your shop can get better. And we'll, we'll show that here in a little bit. Then there's technology tools and, and repair support. So we stay very close to the vendors in the industry as, as well as the OEs and the, and the insurance carriers and, and the, uh, the independent shops or the MSOs alike. And so we stay very abreast of what the next technology and what tools are coming down the pike, if you will, and we, we try to communicate that as rapidly as we can, and we have different tools for communicating those things. We also have uh, support uh, for, through call, a call center, if you will, tech support system, where you can call and actually get questions answered if, if you can't find them through all data or other uh, industry tools like that. Sometimes there's just not answers out there, and we have to go directly to the engineers at OE and, and get those answers for you. Um, the other thing that I think is important, if you if you look at the sort of the, the nine o'clock position on the wheel here, superior quality brand recognition. Uh, when you get the EQ status, that's something that differentiates yourself from your your fellow shops in your area, in your market area, and it can help you differentiate yourself uh, and brand your shop. That's uh, uh, an independently verified shop, if you will. So let me go through the ecosystem one more time just to make sure we're clear. So the first thing we do is we assess. What's going on in the shop? You know, what are the inputs? Do you have the right inputs? Do you have the right equipment? So forth. Um, then we validate that. We we take pictures. We 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 uh, put that into our system, what we call IBQ system, and that's that's uh, something that we can prove and validate for you guys. Then we then we coach, we inspect, we advise, we mentor, we uh, truly educate as needed. Um, and we do that through those unannounced visits we talked about. And we, we give you um, measurements on how, how you're producing the, the quality output that you're expecting from your shop. And then again, what we talked about, we educate. We, we try to help you improve your processes. Um, we, we do collect data on your shop. We do uh, put in the information into the workflows. And so there is a robust system that we can go back and look at history and help you determine what's changed over time. And again, we talked about the technical support. We have the 1-800 technical support line, and you have your monthly reports that you can look at and review, and you do get a score, and you can see if your score is going up or down in particular areas or uh, holistically, and determine what, what actions you need to take in your shop. So we help you uh, create a, a, a baseline of improvement, if you will. So here's an example of how it works. You can see there's five categories here, and we're going to pick the repair quality category to talk about. But the first one here, repair planning, materials and parts, equipment, process and safety, these are the inputs piece. These are, do you have the things you need to do the quality repairs correctly? And so we'd score you on those uh, four categories based upon um, the questions, the over 400 uh, workflow questions that we have and that we observe in your shop. And then we get to the repair quality piece. Um, it it's, goes the same way. We actually take vehicles in process and look at those vehicles um, live as while they're being worked on and, and rate those based on the, the inputs. So here's a breakdown of that workflow. And you can see um, this happens to be a 2016 Black Acura, and there's a whole lot of different categories that we go into and, and, and look at depending on what process that vehicle and specific vehicle is going through. You know, is it a hard hit? Yes or no. If it is, then that opens up a set of questions that that takes us through the structural uh, repair um, workflow, if you will, so we can answer those questions appropriately. Maybe an aluminum vehicle. So you can see down here about midway in the screen here, it's aluminum welding. Uh, are are we following the right process for aluminum welding? Do you 
does your technician know how to do the proper proper welds there and MIG welding and so forth. So you can see there's a lot of details here that we do go through per vehicle to try to make sure that um, the, the process is being done correctly. Uh, a lot of times as we go through these processes we find that the OE specification is misunderstood or couldn't be found and that's generally a lot of the reasons that uh, we find errors in the processes or in the, in the repair quality workflow. So then once we go through these questions, and I'm simplifying it, we, I could go much deeper into these the questions and how we, we score, but um, in general you get a, a repair quality score, score and you get an overall score for all categories. But in this particular case we're looking at the repair quality score and you can see on this graph uh, that, that it's gone up and down over time and, and sometimes it's below uh, the target range and sometimes it's above. But the key is, is you can dig into each of these monthly visit quality scores and look at and look beneath there and say, okay, here's why why the score was what it was. So here's where we missed or here's where we uh, uh, did very well in our scoring. And you can start seeing trends and patterns of what, what may be happening in your shop. And we help with that. And then if you find a trend or a pattern or something that's systemic in the shop that you want to address uh, very deeply and succinctly, we can actually do what's called a clinic. We can skip and, and skip a monthly visit um, from a reporting standpoint and actually have that next month have the coach come in and take your team and do a clinic and a deep dive. So they wouldn't do the reporting the same way they would do every month, but they would actually come in and do a clinic and spend that time uh, getting in deep into a particular subject matter. So we do offer clinics in that regard as well. And we can do clinics outside of the monthly reporting too and, and, uh, and, and invoice for those correctly. But uh, clinics with inside the, this uh, agreement, they're part of the process and we do these regularly for shops. So the question always comes up, why coaching? What, what's, what's the benefit of coaching to a shop? We have many shops that, that have been with us for a long time that they'll never stop having Verifax in and doing the coaching. And, and, and here's some of the reasons why. It's, it's, there's been studies done on coaching and whether you're, you know, using a life coach or whether you're using a technical coach like a Verifax or whether, you know, whatever, whatever phase of, of business you're in, you're using a coach, could be a financial coach as a business owner. Uh, the truth is that we can only attain 40% of what we can achieve on our own. We need help. I personally have a coach. I have a coach that coaches me, uh, in business and, and sort of an executive coach, if you will. And, and, that person can take me to places I can't take myself by myself. We just can't see sometimes what what we need to see because we're so wrapped up in our own our own uh, environment that we need somebody that can step back and look into it for us sometimes. So uh, we know and we've seen that not only technicians but shop owners, shop managers, estimators benefit highly from coaching. Uh, we need a coach to push us past our limits. Uh, sometimes the uh, the unknown becomes very difficult to attain just because we don't have somebody that push us into that. And so we have to be, become uh, comfortable with the uncomfortable feeling, if you will. And so we need somebody to push us into the uncomfortable area of making change. And sometimes uh, change is very difficult. But we also need our minds constantly challenged. We need, to, we need to create an open mindset in ourselves, in our coaches, or excuse me, in our technicians through, via the coaches to where there's a dialogue there, they're, they're asking questions, and we've seen this over over time that shop after shop, when we start coaching a shop, the, the technicians open up and start asking questions, and, and they really get uh, a dialogue that helps them to grow. So what are your, as a shop owner, as a shop uh, manager, what are your concerns? And these, these are the things that we see when we go in and talk to um, different shops across the country, and, and I was in front of 120 shops a couple of weeks ago, and we had a, a question and answer session after we were live in front of them, and we got we had a question and answer session. These these things just resonated with them. Obviously, technicians. Uh, every shop in the country right now seems to be worried about having quality technicians uh, that can can do the job. You know, stay in the breast of OEM specifications. The changing technology in the industry, um, the profitability of your shop, the productivity, uh, which directly relates to that profitability. You know, how do you increase your revenue? 
the DRP requirements. If, if you're on an insurance carrier's DRP or DRN, how do you how do you maintain those requirements? How do you keep up to speed? You know, they're measuring on things that uh, that are addressed sometimes, like severity and customer satisfaction, those type of things. So uh, those things are always on your mind. I know if you got liability issues, you're always worried about that that one car that might come back that was properly in, uh, improperly repaired. You get returns and rework cost you a lot of money. Uh, the working process that's sitting on the on the, the parking lot or in your shop that you would like to get completed and, and move so it can increase your cash flow and uh, you know how are you competing in your local market? Um, how do you get that quality uh, culture? How do you how do you get a culture that is really truly focused on quality where they'll they'll stop what they're doing and ask a question before they'll improperly repair it? Uh, of course, we talked about CSF scoring. Uh, that's becoming more and more prevalent because it's easy for uh, a carrier or, or a customer to understand. Uh, may not be the perfect answer on how to score a shop, but that's unfortunately what a lot of people are looking at. Then there's the technology piece. What technology is coming down the pike? How do you invest in it or do you invest in it or do you spend your dollars? And then there's just the changing industry and that affects all these things. Uh, the industry is changing so rapidly and it's going to continue to. So what, where does where does Verifax fit in a value to your business? I think this is very important. As a as a former business owner, uh, I've owned some small businesses, bought and sold them, and 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 now with Verifax, we 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 think the same way. Where do we where do we invest our dollars? You know, why would you spend money with a company like Verifax without understanding an ROI? You have to understand your return, and we understand it completely. Um, and so we put some numbers here. If you Take what we offer within our, our monthly uh, coaching program and kind of break it apart. So, okay, what's that worth? Well, calls to tech support can be anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars a month based on the, call, the number of calls we see from shops. And we, you know, you can you cannot be a Verifax shop and call to tech support, and we actually invoice you for it as part of the program. You get the calls to tech support. Um, topic of the month: we send out every uh, every month uh, some very detailed information about cutting edge uh, things that are happening in our industry. Sometimes it's about, uh, you know, scanning or it can be about, you know, new new processes in welding or, or things of that nature. But these topics of the month have, have saved our, our shops uh, a lot of time, energy and money um, just by being abreast of these things. And we've asked them and they're anywhere to $100, $150 a month. They think that's worth unbiased monthly reporting. Uh, I can tell you as a, as a, as a a person that used to run manufacturing plants, we used to pay dearly for unbiased reporting because we wanted to know what the truth was going on in our facilities, and um, that's worth anywhere from three to five hundred dollars a month, easily, probably more. The technical coaching, the, the, just the straight-up coaching on site, um, and it does things like in, in, increasing your employee retention. We've seen shops that said, "Hey, their turnover has gone way down but since we've started coaching with Verifax," and the reason is the coaches are uh, are helping the technicians solve their issues and so the technicians aren't as frustrated. The technicians have somebody that are investing in them, the business owners invested in them. So their engagement goes up, their productivity gets better because they know how to solve things and it builds that culture quality. Uh, and that's literally invaluable, but to put a price on it, $500 to $1,000 a month, it's easily worth that. So if you bundle all that together, what we do is worth anywhere from $1,050 to $1,900 a month. You pick your own numbers, you tell me, but you know, it, it's pretty, um, Pretty inexpensive for the things that we can help you do. Um, and then on top of that, just as a bonus, if you become a VQ or the next level, the highest level, the medallion level shop, now you've differentiated yourself in your local market. The consumer can be marketed to with that. We actually have our own marketing uh, uh, group that, that helps you market that somewhat. We put that out there. You'll see it on LinkedIn. You'll see it on Facebook. We, we really are proud of our VQ and medallion shops, and we help market that as well. Um, this also VQ also helps you reach OE certification status. Let's use Honda for example. We actually administer the Honda uh, certification, the ProFirst uh, program, and you can either be ICAR Gold or you can be uh, Verifax VQ. So the VQ status there helps you reach that uh, certification uh, uh, need. And then insurance carrier recognition. We have specific carriers, 13 of the top carriers, that recognize Verifax as a value-add shop. Uh, I actually had a carrier 
at an event I was talking to last night, and the carrier said, hey, you know, we, if we have two shops to choose from to put on our DRP, and one's Verifax and one's not, the Verifax shop uh, automatically gets a, a little extra look because we know that they're they're a quality shop and they're focused on quality. So, so I don't know what this is worth to you. You have to, you have to figure that out. To me, if I was owning a shop today, it would be invaluable. So it, it's worth it's worth quite a bit. But let me tell you how much it actually costs. Six hundred fifty dollars per month. That's what we charge for all this. That's our coach coming in on site, talking to your technicians, giving you a monthly report. You get the topic of the month. You get calls to tech support. Uh, you get your unbiased monthly report, and you also can reach VQ or Medallion status. And not only that. But for $650 a month, um, that, that $650 a month can actually decrease after your first year. And so if you want to know more about how that can happen, let us know. So you, you, can, you can actually decrease that. That's, the, that's the, uh, the top dollar. So after the first year, it can actually decrease uh, $50 or to $100. So we, we feel like we add much more value than what we charge. Um, and we have been told that many, many times. So if you're interested, let me know. Let me tell you why Verifax. Why, after all that, and so that sounds great, but why is Verifax important in the industry? Number one, we we work very closely with collision repair facilities. Um, that is where the rubber meets the road. That's where all the action happens. That's where quality has to ha occur. We also we also work with the top insurance companies, which many recognize us, and 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 several are working on. Uh, some already have and some are working on uh, programs in their DRP where they'll actually recognize Verifax shops and actually give uh, an incentive to become a Verifax shop, whether it's uh, extra points on their scoring for a DRP or, or they actually compensate in some way. Uh, they see the value in what Verifax does, and, and there's two carriers in particular that already have programs in place for uh, Verifax shops to get uh, uh, a little bit greater scoring in their DRP scoring. And then automobile OEMs. Uh, they see us as extremely valuable. We talk to them on a regular basis. I actually met with two last night personally, and they are working with us to create more programs with them because they understand the uh, the importance of them protecting their brand through the shop by quality repairs. Uh, don't know if you know this or not, but about 65% of vehicles that are uh, in accidents uh, the, the people that drive those vehicles will choose a different brand through the experience of having their, their vehicle repaired. And the OEMs are really focused on trying to change that percentage. They want that number to go way down. They want it to get well below 50%. So they're doing everything they can to be a part of uh, our industry now, where in the past they've, they've kind of had hands off and spent the insurance carriers and the collision facilities. Now the OEMs are getting very involved. You've probably seen a lot more of that in the last couple of years, and it's going to increase greatly. There are, there are all these industry events now being part of it. So if you have questions, I'll be glad to answer them now. Here's the contact information. If you're interested in learning more about Verifax or becoming a Verifax coach shop, here's uh, the, the website. Here's an email address and a 1-800 uh, number. To feel free to call and ask us for more information. We'll be glad to... Uh, to help you out and understand anything that I haven't been able to address today. Um, I don't have any questions um, so far. Um, and I will follow up with everybody who's on the call and send you Gregory's um, contact information. So if you think of a question or you have um, something uh, you need answered, you can follow up and email him. And uh, yeah, I don't see any questions. Um, thanks, Gregory. We appreciate your time. We appreciate everybody who's on the call. and. Um, we'll follow up with everyone on future training opportunities. All right? That'll conclude the webinar today, and appreciate it. Thanks.